lived in Asia Minor for over 2,000 years, but that history came to a bloody end thanks to the genocide committed against them by the Ottoman and Turkish governments. Alongside the Armenians and Assyrians, the Greeks of the Ottoman Empire faced a wave of deportation, dehumanization, and destruction during and after the First World War, which are remembered as some of the bloodiest genocides of the 20th century. Today on A Day in History, we look at how the Greek population of modern-day Turkey was all but exterminated. This is the third part of our series looking at Ottoman genocides. So check out our earlier videos on the Armenian and Assyrian genocides to see a full picture of the unspeakable crimes committed, committed in the last days of the Ottoman Empire. Sparks of a genocide. The Greek, Armenian, and Assyrian genocides were similar in many ways, but the defining feature of their victims was obvious, Christianity. These three minorities represented the vast majority of Christians who lived under the Muslim Ottoman Empire. Political events also put the empire's Greeks in a vulnerable position. Greece has secured independence from the Ottoman Empire in 1823. It was a deep wound to Ottoman pride, made even worse by the continual decay of Ottoman power ever since. As resentment against the new Greek nation simmered, it filtered down and fell upon the Greek minority too. The sparks of genocide began smoldering as early as 1908 with the Young Turk Revolution. The Young Turks were a hyper-nationalist faction who believed in an ethnically Turkish Muslim empire. Their policy of Turkification left no room for non-Turks or non-Muslims, and soon every ethnic minority in the empire was in their crosshairs. In these last years of Ottoman power in Europe, Ottoman authorities harassed ethnic Greeks to encourage them to relocate to Greece itself. Episodes of violence broke out in areas like Thessaloniki and Macedonia, where ethnic Greek leaders were known to disappear, or where the bodies of Greek farmers would be found in the wilderness, left behind by Ottoman authorities. But such violence was intermittent and not yet systemic. 